Hello, ACSTM. I am very glad to uh, present my poster entitled Promoting Safety Behaviors Among Healthcare Professionals, Application of Health Belief Model to Asian Conference on Science, Technology and Medicine. I am Halima Sadia Khan, PhD scholar at National Institute of Psychology, Khaid Azam University, Islamabad. Tenured Professor Dr. Rubina Hanif is my supervisor and she's the director at National Institute of Psychology. Now coming to my poster. In the background section, I'd like to introduce my study variables. Provision of healthcare services is a highly hazardous job. High hazard industries such as aviation, nuclear energy, and shipping have a number of similarities with the healthcare industry. Specifically, the healthcare industry has been categorized as a high hazard industry because of the potential risk for both morbidity and mortality as a result of errors occurring within the host organization. In recent decades, the growing awareness of organizational, managerial, and human factors as opposed to the technical factors have been shown to have a larger impact on all the high hazard industries. Numerous blood-borne and airborne infections can be prevented by safety compliance to the use of personal protective equipment and safety performance. Level of non-compliance tend to vary according to the type of instruction and the nature of work and the social and organizational context being influenced by both individual motivation and wider social and organizational pro processes. This model is particularly important for healthcare because rules tend to be less binding and less explicit than in other high hazard industries. Despite the fact that many guidelines and policies exist, these are often viewed as recommendations rather than strictly enforced rules. For example, the busy healthcare professionals may not follow procedures in a strict and logical manner, but instead may choose the pathway that appears to be most useful and productive at that time. In healthcare industry, the safety behaviors include checking equipment, hand washing, not prescribing dangerous drugs, following procedures when giving intravenous drugs, routinely checking the identity of the patient, and uh, wearing uh, personal protective equipment and taking adequate measures to um, stop the spread of infections. Such standard routines and procedures are the bedrock of safer healthcare, but there is ample evidence that such rules are routinely fluted in healthcare. The causes of infections are undoubtedly complex. However, contamination through hand contact is a major source and hand hygiene is a major weapon in the fight against infection. Yet it has been proven that uh, healthcare workers find it extraordinarily difficult to persuade hand hygiene. The current study has utilized health belief model uh, as a theoretical framework for understanding safety performance of the healthcare professionals. And safety performance can be defined as a set of actions carried out by the employees in their uh, workplaces that exhibit protection at the level of um, themselves and the services they are providing to their clients, to the environment and to the public overall. So basically safety performance uh, comprises of uh, two major components. One is the use of personal protective equipment and other is safety compliance. Coming to the method section of our study, uh, the objective of the study was to investigate the predictive role of health beliefs on the safety uh, behaviors of healthcare uh, professionals. Health beliefs were basically um, studied through the health belief model and health belief model is one of the most widely used behavioral change model that focuses on the cognitive determinants of behavior. And these health beliefs were basically um, perceived susceptibility to a disease or a health risk, perceived severity of ill health, perceived benefits of changing behavior and perceived barriers to perform the healthy uh, behavior or safe behavior. The sample of the current study was collected from healthcare professionals 
uh, that were 556 in number from uh, different uh, cities of Pakistan. The data was collected from uh, nurses, doctors, paramedic staff, technicians from tertiary teaching care hospitals of different cities of Pakistan. The instruments that were used in the current study are uh, general safety performance scales, subscale use of personal protective equipment, and safety participation scale by Hoffman. These uh, two subscale uh, scales were together measuring safety performance, whereas health beliefs were measured by adapting safety culture related cognitive factor questionnaire developed by Hagigi. Uh, the original uh, scale uh, was used for oil refinery population, whereas in the current study it is adapted for the healthcare professionals. For carrying out analysis, um, the psychometric properties of the scales were uh, checked out and the data was uh, found out to be fulfilling the assumptions of normality uh, and the alpha reliabilities of the data were also above uh, 0.71 and all are fulfilling the range of acceptable and good uh, reliability whereas the skewness and kurtosis closer to zero would uh, are also showing that the data is normally distributed. For the structural equational modeling was carried out um, in a uh, AMOS 20. To obtain parameter estimates for the proposed direct effects, all uh, the variables that are perceived uh, benefits, perceived susceptibility, perceived severity, and perceived barriers were found out to be thus uh, to be significant predictors of safety performance, and they were highly um, uh, showing that they are predicting safety performance at a significant level below uh, 0 0.001, and all the model fit indices were showing um, a good model fit. Uh, the values of IFI, NFI, TLI, CFI, these are the uh, different fit indices uh, for model testing and the values above 0.95 show good model fit. And uh, the value of RMC, uh, um, the closer to zero, the better the model. So all the values are falling in a range that it is a good, good model fit. And it, um, this study is highlighting that health belief model is a very uh, useful model to understand the safety behaviors of employees within an organization. So it is a significant predictor of safety performance among healthcare professionals. This uh, study can be uh, used uh, by the future researchers for developing strategies and intervention plans for uh, promoting safety performance in healthcare settings. So, um, the analysis of the current study uh, focuses on the action researches that can help um, and uh, can be used as an appropriate tool to initiate change within the hospitals. Hospital staff uh, shall be provided with opportunity to think on the issue that they are susceptible to the consequences of risky and non-safe behaviors in the work setting and the perception of risk is significantly associated with behavior and its continuity. It means that if a given intervention focuses on perception of respondents on the risk factors, then the intervention may be successful by preventing the risky behavior or unsafe behaviors. In short, safety compliance can save the healthcare task and reduce the disease burden on the society overall. Thanking you so much. Thank you. That's my poster.